James Dean. You know he's riding high right now, man. He is just buzzing, mate. You know what I mean? Pure cork. Yeah, yeah, and and you got to quell that. You got to calm yourself down and realize you still got the rest of the event to do. And um, I mean, Stuky, how how cool would it be to like knock him off his throne? Uh -oh. Thirty-two right off this. So there, there's definitely in it something in it for Stuky. There's a lot of motivation right now, and maybe we'll see a Stuky like we've never seen before. All right, Stuky like we've never stooped before. We've never stooped before. Never stooped before. <laughs> It's a great song. It's a great song. <laughs> I want to stook you all over. And spec performance S15 chasing down the 2024 Formula Drift Champion, James the Machine Dean. And look at that, just pulling away. Like I said, the confidence is high. He's got that pressure off his shoulder. The car is capable. We saw that celebratory run. Stooky, a little early transition, throws him off, straightens out. James D looks like he, again, right on, right on pace. Exactly what you anticipated from James Dean. Confidence in his corner, the Mustang running good. Stooky crawls the rest of the course, and the champion shows you why he is there. Yeah, not sure what happened on uh, Stuky's front. It looked like when he went to transition out, the, the car died. That was it. There was really nothing on the go. So we'll have to uh, have to go back and take a look at that. It was just at the transition point is when uh, when things just went awry for him. But James Dean, very classic initiation for him, getting on throttle super early, gets that left foot brake to get the car settled. Stuky starts to get into the pocket here, really starts to make his dive up, and then it almost looked like the car shut down even before the transition. I don't know, maybe if he, if he popped out of gear, or missed a shift, or something along those lines, which is very weird. But James Dean, textbook all the way through the rest of this run, filling all the zones. You know, look like he just just touched the bumper there. I really don't know how you can slow this man down. I, I, what what what's left to do for him? I, I, again, arguably or not arguably, I, I don't know why we say that. No, uh, one of the best drifters in the world. Nobody's right, arguing that. Yeah, no one's arguing. Nobody's arguing about being one of the best drifters in the world. Yeah. James. Here we go. Daniel Stuckey, he, uh, he needs to throw down a heater of a run. Otherwise, uh, James Dean, as we said, four-time champ, is going to advance on. Stuckey, a little low on the bank. Look, you can see kind of James Dean tiptoeing to the side of that S15. He'd need to make a major mistake in order for Stuckey to advance on. Good job on that second outside zone. And James right there just really twisting the screws on it. Boom, there it is. James Dean gets it done. Easy peasy. Great effort by Daniel Stuckey on that lead run. But again, the mistake in the chase shortens it up. And yeah. unfortunately, uh, Stuckey's going to be packing it up. Yeah, and I, I think something that we need to keep an eye on, especially with James Dean and a few other drivers, right-hand drive car. We forget about that really quickly, and, and that means that during this first outside zone, he's on the inside, he's got a direct line, he's able to kind of keep the car out of the smoke. Through this transition, things are going to be a little bit more difficult for him, he's able to push a little bit deeper, but Stuky, great lead run. Sucks at what happened in the in the chase there, because this looks really good. stuky has got it dialed. There's a couple of points online that I'd like to see him go deeper into the zones, but very stable, very fluid all the way through it. Just not enough when you've got that big of a mistake. You can see just the way Stuky's able to get the car going here. A couple little bobbles, but settles it in. It looks really nice. And James doing James Dean doing what James <laughs> does. Right. All right. And James Dean, right him in. We're, we're, we're almost halfway there. Yeah, we are. See? You're on board. Almost halfway there. <laughs> We're not. We're literally not even at the halfway point. Always the optimist. Yeah. Of who? You or me? I mean. Oh, okay. You're the most humble guy you know. Humblest guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the difference. I'm way more humble than you. Here we go. James the Machine Dean advances on. Daniel Stuckey knocked out. So it is unanimous. Easy peasy, chicken greasy, clutch kick. Here we go. Jeff should just end the season on a high. Yeah. Um, he, he's, he has what it takes. He definitely has what it takes. That four exhaust, heat wave visuals. Lean Customs Corvette. Here goes James Dean out the gate. He's riding high right now, though. Literally, as he gets high on the bank, Matt Field again. There's that good proximity. He mimics that angle. Well done. He throws it out there. Has to back off a little bit. The Beast in the Bay chasing down the machine in the second outside zone. Comes a gun that plays it. In that second outside zone. Look at James Dean. Set it and forget it. But Matt Field bringing the heat. Great proximity. Aggressive driving. Well done. Stop your feet, Irwindale. Make some noise. 
The coolest thing about getting sick. to chase James Dean is you know you can throw it as hard as you possibly as hard as you possibly can. He can run that bumper the entire time and not have to worry that James Dean is going to do anything strange. Yep, and now Matt Field is out front. Matt Field out front, James Dean chase position. He would love to add to the trophy collection. A lot of Irish folk making the trip over here, cheering on James. There goes Matt Field initiating into the bank. And look at that, Matt Field, great angle there. Look at James, just really kind of just going back and forth. Watch his car, watch how close he gets. I think he's gonna reel him in. That's the, the side bite that these Mustangs have. You see it right there, he jumps to the side of the Corvette. Wow, look at that, he's banging doors! Oh, doctor, make some noise! James Dean, Matt Field. These are the battles we anticipated, and it just coagulates. It just gets refined as we go on from 32, 16, 8, 4. 100%. Already requested it. Yeah. Sorry, it's already in the, it's already in the can. All right, this is where you're going to try and get picked any of this, which just feels so wrong for how good both these drivers are. I would say Matt Field doesn't have quite the same angle that James Dean does in his knee drum. He nailed that a little bit later. Matt Field doesn't quite get the same proximity. Then through this transition part, it does look like Matt Field is able to get into the pocket slightly sooner than James Dean is. But, oh man, and then through the rest of it, it's a scratch. They're, they're, there's nothing between them at that point. So there's just very small, minute points about who's in the zone longer and who's in it a little bit deeper. And, and when I say deeper, I mean, we're like the difference between three or four inches. Yeah, just uh, it, that was so tight in a great way. You know, we've really tried to minimize one more times, but awarding awarding the runs that are deserved of, yeah. of seeing them run again. Yeah, this this may come down to uh, who's gonna who's gonna break first. Here we go. Look at this, James Dean, Matt Field, slide him left, slide him right, one more time, one more time. Oh, look at that, Reese, always the disruptor. Dang. He says James Dean, but regardless, again, that's how that's the third time we've seen that. We're closed, so we just had to go one more time. All right. Well, there you go. Thank you so much, Robbie, and we are taking a look at. An awesome crowd here. Thank you so much. And here we go. The one more time battle between James, the Machine Dean, your champion, four-time champion, going against Matt Field. That Borla exhaust. Here we go. Leaving the start line. Here goes James Dean across the nose of the Corvette. How are they going to refine it? How are they going to make it better? You know, we had an amazing lead at Chase. Now look at this. Good angle. Locked and loaded is James Dean. Matt Maybe keep it up a little bit of room here so it's not so glitchy. Right more fluid. It looks definitely more fluid than that first run. But Matt Field right there. Good proximity. Tucks in. Almost uh, gets slapped there with the uh, Ford Mustang. But overall, very clean, very tidy. And James Dean out front. I mean, just perfection once again on the wall, filling all the zones. Uh, I mean, inside clip one. Yeah. Maybe some more angle. Yeah. That's, that's about all I got. Yeah, no, it's it's like you said. I, I really liked the, the the consistency of that run, especially yeah. the the chase of Matt Field compared to what he did on that first run. I think, like I said, that just showed refinement. Here we go, Matt Field, now out front, James Dean in that chase position. Here goes Matt Field, initiates high on the bank. James Dean actually a little bit lower. You see him just massage the car right there to the side. And now James Dean looks like he's doing something similar as well as far as car set up and where he's at. And look at him, just slowly reeling him in. Dragging bumper by both these guys, come on now. Look at this. <laughs> you know, it's just the consistency is so sick. Oh man. Unbelievable. We might be here all night. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some meals sent up here. It really refines and gets down to this. Here we are looking at uh, the side by side once again. So let's look for the, the depth in those zones. So in the lead, it does look like James E was, was in that zone a little bit earlier and as full as Matt Field. So that could be a small point there. Through the inside clip, I mean, that, that might be it there. James E dives in on the inside, whereas Matt Field doesn't on the inside clip. To this outside zone, though, I mean, Matt Field supersedes James maybe just a touch, whereas James is a little bit more back and on the door. So, yeah, really, really tough. It, it really may come down to that inside clip. That's the only glaring thing that I'm seeing, which is wild because it's such a, a ballsy thing to do. <laughs> like, it, just to, to dive in because you only have a split second and yeah. you're going to get back into the pocket yep. and back around.
Here we are, slide him left for Dean, right for field, and James Dean gets the victory. James Dean continues on. I would I would say James's chase, just you know, looking at that overall. James Dean and Jeff has beaten James Dean before, so it's it's definitely doable. I mean, what what a tear Jeff Jones is on right now. Here we go. So James Dean out front, but he is again riding the wave of clinching that championship. James Dean initiates. Jeff Jones back there, mimicking his angle. Could definitely be a little bit closer, give himself a little bit of room here now into that second outside zone. Goes James, look at Jeff Jones. Jeff Jones actually maybe even a little bit deeper than James Dean on that last outside zone, outside zone three. Wow. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Yeah. He's like, cool, I, I know you're a champion, but I, I can still beat you. I got your number. It's it really I think they're gonna try to fix it, but they got five minutes, man. That's 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 a very little amount of time. Here we go, Jeff Jones out front, Evo Auto Works. Initiates into that bank. Look at James Dean. A little lower, he works his way to the side of the seat. Look how deep, look how deep Jeff Jones is. You see him hit the wall. His trunk pops up. And now in his second outside zone. Look at that. James Dean, he is mimicking him. He is diving in. We got wheel, we got contact. Jones maxing out the angle. Yo, yeah. Jeff Jones. That got interesting quick. Yes, it did. Uh, you can see Brian there. All right. First car. Let's look at it. This is. This is I think amazing. you're right, man. That's it, it. Just does not look like the James we've yeah. seen previously. Like you said, Kryptonite. And Jeff yeah, is. Good work. Jeff is really stable. I mean, in the chase, he is really stable, and the lead runs are pretty close to each other. This is what I'm talking about. Look at Jeff, further back, but on a great line, whereas James is closer, but hunting. He's hunting the car in and out, whereas Jeff doesn't have the same proximity, but has a great line and has a has a matched angle. So it becomes that time old debate of, is it proximity that's going to get the win, or is it proper line and proper angle? Going to set a bit of a precedent here with the judges. No pressure, though, guys. Here we are. All right, slide him left for James Dean, right for Jeff Jones, and one more time. James Dean in. One, one more, more time. time. Going at it again. So Storm, we've seen this so many times of just those little mistakes combining to make one bigger mistake. There may still be a place, though, for Odium to beat Odium on the box because he was first. Ah, number one, yeah, okay. So okay. Hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Here we go. James the Machine Dean, Jeff Jones, James Dean initiates high on the bank. You can see him riding up there. Yeah, it's a great point there about Odium. That'd be crazy. Here we go, transitioning past the transition oh. into that second outside zone. Jeff Jones in the smoke gets lost. Oh, he gets, oh boy. That was tough. Where'd he go? He's a magician. That was crazy. Jeff was just, he couldn't see anything, man. Look, he's still, he's still missing. This is how a lead driver wow. drags a chase driver into deep waters. Commit so much more than you ever can, and that's what happened to Jeff Jones. Is he 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 took the bait into it, and uh, dang, look at look at James Dean out in the lead. Then this transition on throttle all the way through, small D cell, very quick D cell, and then through this zone, Jeff tries to get in and just gets completely bathed in smoke and gone, and just. He, he was he was lost. There's no way you're gonna be able to find it. You're nope. fighting through the clouds the entire time, and James Dean just drives away from it. So yeah, that's gonna be a major advantage for James Dean after you know forced one more time. It was two to one, but uh, going one more time, Jeff really had a shot on that first battle. But right now he's gonna need to force an error on James Dean, or James gonna need to make a mistake in that chase position now with uh, with him making that. That that's an incomplete. Yeah. So. Realistically, if, if James Dean incompletes in the chase earlier than Jeff Jones did, there might be an, a, a, a spot here. And I mean, we're not done. This is there's <laughs> this is not even close to over. No. So Jeff Jones still has a chance. Do not do not count Jeff Jones out ever. Oh, man, <laughs> <laughs> I love drifting. I love drifting. I love lamp. I love it. Uh, smell I love it. I, I love it. Shirt coming on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, here we are taking a look at Jeff Jones now up front. Jeff Jones up front, James Dean in the chase position. And here comes Jones. Jones initiates James Dean. As long as he keeps it uh, moderately close, nothing too crazy. He should be uh, 
moving on into the final four. Our four-time champ, our 2024 champion. Look how big the Mustang it's looks. So Look at like menacing over the 370Z. Looks like the movie Twins uh, cover. <laughs> Like <laughs> Danny, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger next to each other. So, uh, hey, round of applause for Jeff Jones, forcing the champ into it one more time. Yeah, burn him off, baby. Big drift energy. All right, so let's slide him left for James Dean. Make it official. Jeff Jones, unfortunately, knocked out, but hold your head high, homeboy. James Dean gets the win. So James and Odie, but James gets the fast pass into the finals. But and the scenario is actually, even though Odie wasn't at fault, he does not advance from the eight. The final four bracket, physically, and, and how it would look, there's a spot empty in that top left-hand corner. Odie Bakshis does not advance onto the four. He stops at eight. So basically, there's three drivers in the final four. Yeah. So what happens now is James, James Dean obviously doesn't have to do battle against Odie on that side of the bracket. James is in the finals. On the other side, it's Frederick Osmo and Connor Shanahan. The winner of that goes to the finals against James Dean. The loser automatically will get third place because Odie Bakshi's, again, he had to retire or expire at the great eight. So again, your podium in what order? TBD, obviously James Dean is guaranteed at second place. He obviously wants to make it a perfect perfect event, but James Dean waits to see who he's going against. Osbo or Shanahan. James Dean takes a bye run right now, so James in the finals waiting to see who he goes against. The loser of Shanahan and Osbo is third place. James Dean versus the other competitor. If, if you really want to nerd out, which, I mean, that's that's me, download the judging rule book. Uh, it's available on the website, the very bottom of, of formuladrift.com. Judging rule book, section 5.2. Uh, it's on page 13. It's the third paragraph. Very specific. It, it does outline all of this. So hopefully that will cause some internet comments, but I don't think so. No, I think that, that gives clarity to the situation. And yeah, and that, that does make sense, you know? And yeah. That's, that's yep. why the rules are there. There's rules, Marty. There's rules. Can you make this a perfect event? Getting the championship, three podiums this year. What a ledge, as the kids would say. Hop, skip, jump, AutoZone, Mustang, RTR, Spec 5 FD. Yo, that's what that, you know what that is? You know what that is? That's the pure corkscrew. <laughs> right there, the pure cork screw. I like it. There you go. There you go, I know that. Yeah. The zone and not make any corrections. And just hold drift the entire time. This is it. This is it. Little Michael McDonald. Little Michael McDonald there for you. Frederick Osbo, James Dean, in our final battle of our 2024 season. They are tied two to two. Frederick Osbo, James Dean, who's coming out on top? 76% winning average. Look at these battles. And this is just over the last four years. But again, you know, this is this is great. So Freddie, James Dean, Norway versus Ireland, Toyota versus Ford, Supra versus Mustang. A lot. I'm, I'm so incredibly excited to get both of them on the, uh, the podcast yeah. here tonight. The podium show is going to be epic with them and Connor. It's, uh, I mean, if you haven't tuned into one of the podium podcasts, this is definitely the one. Yeah, and, and what's cool about this too is here's Freddie who finishes third overall in the season. Yeah. Odie Box, she's almost, you know, crazy turn of events there, you know, the contact there. So. You know, it's it's uh, it's pretty bonkers. So, again, hey, you want to shine some lights here? Larry Chan says, let's shine some lights here. Type S lights are lit up, so why not pull out your phone once again? Let's light up the night here for our finals. Let's send it! Frederick Osbo, James Dean. Frederick Osbo leads. James Dean giving chase. Here goes Frederick Osbo, high on the bank. James Dean tapping the brakes. A little bit of separation there. Let's see if he can reel him in. Yes, sir. There you see him working his way up top, bouncing his way past that transition into that second inside, that inner outside zone. Now look at James Dean, he's tapping some tire, bouncing back and forth, middle tire, one and two, banging doors, banging fenders. Well done. Wow. James Dean just right there on the Supra. 
Nitto on Nitto Crime. Wow, what a, what a way to start our final battle. Yeah, let's take a look here. Frederick Osbo once again just gets it into the pocket, gets it into the zone and holds it there. Very minimal corrections. James Dean able to mirror everything perfectly. Now through this transition, both of them hard charging, all throttle, all the way through to our second outside zone. And this is where James Dean really applies the pressure, both physically and mentally, and just he is there. He is rubbing that tire against the door. There are to be four or five door tabs all the way through that. James Dean just showing why he is the greatest drifter of all time. I'm yep. not putting it out there. This is why. He's able to adapt. He's able to do anything that the lead driver does as well as they do, if not better, throughout the entire thing. Frederick Osbo, though, looking absolutely perfect out in that lead. And that means James Dean is able to drive like this. Frederick Osbo is going to have his work cut out for him in the chase. But that being said, you know that James Dean is going to throw down an absolute heater in the lead. <laughs> It's no. Yes. What? 100%. You're crazy. I know. No way. So we turn him around and... Turn around every now and then I get him. All right. What do we got here? James the Machine Dean. Send it for the final time of 2024. Or is it? They go one more time. James pulls away against Frederick Osbo. High on the bank. High on the wall. Freddie backs down. Freddie backs down. James Dean be not only your champ but your winner as long as he keeps it sideways across the finish line james dean adds another podium to his 2024 season solidifying that he is the best damn drifter in the world four-time champion 21 championships overall four podiums four wins unbelievable make some noise for james the machine dean they're doing the Batman thing? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> here it is, the Air Force replay. Just uh, looked like he just lost power and shut it down. And that, that's that's a salvageable, you know, definitely, you know, just lost power. Yeah, you can see him fighting with the steering wheel. No. Trying to do something, but... Uh, it's parked it. Yeah, car went down. Ford wins the championship once again. Back to back, Chelsea Denofa last year. Now James the Machine Dean. <laughs> Four events he won out of eight, 50% of the rounds. Yeah, one of the most dominant seasons in drifting history. Shanahan, his fellow Irishman, fellow countryman. Shanahan gets third place, he'll be on the box. But what, what a great podium overall here in uh, round eight and as well as the overall championship. Uh, the hugs all around from other drivers. There's Graham from Heat Wave giving them hugs. See Matt Marcou from RTR. And just, just uh, I mean, look, I mean, let's just talk to one man himself. We talked to him. Cerise, down to you. Cerise, uh, you know, James, just, he's ready to do it again, I feel like. Yeah, there definitely has to be something in the water over in Ireland because we have two people on the podium. However, Ford is having an absolutely phenomenal time right now. Ford and RTR, you have back-to-back -back championships. I, there's so much energy running through your body right now. Explain to the people what, uh, what this means for you. Yeah, it's an unbelievable dream having, firstly, having all my family, Becky, everyone home, back home from Ireland supporting here, lots of friends as well that made the, the trip over to support this, and uh, it went out way better than what I expected. And for the whole Ford situation, driving a Mustang, I started when I was 14 years old driving a Ford Sierra, and that car cost me 200 euros, and to go from that let's say a pretty bad car to this absolute monster and uh, achieve more than my wildest dreams is just unbelievable so thank you to everyone that supports me it's been a dream it's been a pleasure driving here tonight trying our best and uh, i'm sorry for frederick in the final uh, mechanical issue but no matter what we were still uh, until that happened having a serious battle and uh, great battles tonight with matt field as well jeff jones and uh, what a what a way to finish an amazing year Absolutely, and that was a fight to the finish. Uh, Frederick, would you please join us? You are a phenomenal driver yourself, two-time champion. However, James Dean did come through at the end, proving that you are the championship, three-time champion, apologies. Now, give us some context here of what it means to, to give the championship to this man as a, as a winner yourself. I mean, he's argu arguably the best, right? And not just arguably, he is the freaking best, right? And I remember seeing this guy 
in uh, Ireland back in the day. He was just as tall, but he was a few <laughs> years younger. Um, and he was, you can see it in his eyes, right? Uh, we came here to the States at the same time, 2008, and we were absolute, you know, fresh off the boat at the time. And uh, over the years, we've, we've learned a lot. He's accomplished a lot. We've accomplished a lot too, but there, there's still another level, and that is this guy. <laughs> Uh, where is Shanahan? We need to get a, a, a message from the youth of the, of the population. Now, you are here on podium with absolutely gnarly drivers. I mean, give us give us an, an insight into what's going on in your brain right now as you breach this new generation of, of FD drivers. Yeah, what an honor it is to be joined with, you know, as Asbo said, arguably the best in the world. But I think tonight the, the point is proven. I'm sorry, Asbo, but he is the best in the world. He's the guy that we've all looked up to. You know, he showed us that the dream was possible and to witness literally driving in the same championship and show that he's the first ever to win four is absolutely insane. I said it at the start of this year that you're going to see the scariest version of James Dean that you've seen in a long time. So congrats, buddy. Um, I'm proud. I'm, I know the work that you put in. You live, read this sport and uh, you're an inspiration to every single driver who gets behind the wheel. But I'm pumped. P3 in a car what rocked up last night. Well, not even branded. I don't even know anything about this car. I couldn't even tell you what engine's in it. So I'm happy. Uh, I drove the wheels off the thing, fell into lag against on the transition going into the wall and was so annoyed because I was like it would be a magical story if it was another final with me and James but I drove my heart and soul out this year honestly I've been struggling the cars have you know been super difficult for me to drive but I'm happy and uh, to wrap it up at the podium I'll be back next year to make sure hopefully James doesn't win a fifth one <laughs> <laughs> guys the character and sportsmanship on this track is incredible please give it up one more time for your 2024 FD podium uh, oh. Thank you so much, Cerise. Great job uh, again working with you, Cerise Taylor. And uh, there is the podium. Uh, two Irishmen and a Norwegian walk into a bar, and it's going to get wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tonight and tomorrow, the banquet. When we come back, we are going to sign off and have a great time. If you're here in the building, come join us at the podium. What an amazing event. What, what a nightcap on an amazing season. Join us at the podium, and again, congratulations to James Dean. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four-time champion. Congratulations.